<clears throat> uh, happy Monday, Saints. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> talking about boys are talking about church folks. Okay, here we go. Talking about church people, that means obviously there's probably going to be some hypocrisy somewhere. Forget my lighting. It's 4 o'clock here. Look at it. Oh, I'm going to show you something. This is what I'm dealing with. My whole building is covered in scaffolding and some kind of fucking, I mean, excuse me, some kind of mesh because they're redoing the outside of the building. And they're telling us that it's going to be six months to do this whole building. Change the wood, new windows. You know, well, we're glad that it's all happening, but extremely inconvenient because it is, it's dark in this place all day, basically. All right, back to my story. Uh, Pastor Dietrich Haddon. Now, y'all recall when De Leandra Johnson had her trouble a few months back, she got into it with the church because she had said curse words on her uh, Instagram or one of them, some of her social media. Dietrich Haddon was one of the first to jump in with all of his opinions, advice, and most importantly, judgment. He told Leandra Johnson, some people don't like to be corrected. You can't be perfected without being corrected. Well, Diedrich Haddon, you need to be corrected, my brother. And only three months, was three months, something like that, after you have sit up here and cursed this, this woman, her career. I don't know if she's rebounded yet or not. But what you're doing, it seems to me, is a lot more... Uh, over the top than what she did. She said a few cuss words on her on her social media. You have went and made music. <laughs> Let me play y'all this song. I guess he done premiered it on his Facebook. But uh, I don't know if it's, if it's live yet or not. The church people, if they get a chance, they're going to shut him down, I'm sure. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on, hold the hell on. Did this brother just say he wants to get in between them legs? Did you have... <laughs> okay, let me give a camera back. He goes all the talk about getting between this woman's legs and how he wants to eat the milk. I, I'm, I'm gay, so I don't know much about eating milk and cookies, but I can imagine he's not talking about actual milk and cookies. Eating it. This is the gospel this is the pastor, y'all. This is the one who was so full of judgment about Leandria a few months ago. Is gospel music doing that bad? I mean, this man has made gospel music. This is how he's made his name. He calls himself a pastor. He has made reality TV shows claiming to be pastor. I don't know. He's had shows fixing people's gospel choirs. He's been successful in that industry, but he is sitting here making songs about getting in between people's. I mean, even secular artists, few of them go there. I thought I was listening to R. Kelly. It sounded like an R. Kelly or, or Chris Brown or somebody wrote this song. Anyway, so the hypocrisy. The hypocrisy, Dick Hatton. Okay, you told Leandra Johnson that she had to learn to take correction because she could not have perfection without taking correction. This seems to be a correction that it shouldn't even be called for. You should know that you can't be a pastor preaching the Bible. Although what one thing has to do with the other, I don't know. That's the way you you know church people see it. Singing not only just uh, secular lyrics, but these are are sexual lyrics, right? Uh, church hates sex, <laughs> so. Here's how he handles it. He announces, oh, this song is only for married couples. <laughs> what? <laughs> how 
the hell you gonna have a song? <laughs> you gonna release a song and only marry? Are you gonna have only marry a couple of music? Man, that sounds that is weak. Dedrick Haddon, that is weak. Excuse. Supposed to be a Christmas song. Ain't you supposed to be celebrating uh, the birth of Christ on Christmas? And not getting up between people's legs and eating egg milks and cookies. I assume from somewhere between their legs or on their chest. Uh, I don't get the cookies part, but. Oh! The, oh! Uh, <laughs> I just got a vision of what the cookies might be. Anyway, don't eat that. And if you do eat it, eat it in your privacy of your own home, Diedrich Haddon. This is a uh, this is an insult to the, to the gospel music industry. It is. You could have made a secular song or just made a Christmas song. Why you got to go through all this nastiness in it? Which tells me that some part of you, deep down in you, it is a nasty person lurking there. And have more respect for your wife. You say it's only for married people. Who in the hell gonna go and? So the people who are not married not gonna buy the song. They don't make music for married couples, man. It's called X-rated. That's what it's called. <laughs> I know me and Leandria are laughing at the same time. Just for married people. It's how ridiculous. Anyway, in other news, it looks like they're about to install someone in Eddie Alone's church, New Birth. And rumor has it, it could be Jamal Bryant. We'll see. Jamal has had his issues as well, but as long as they're straight issues, I just <laughs> they'll overlook uh, a lot because they need a powerful preacher in there. So we'll see. I, I'm I'm not sure where I am with with uh, with the Jamal Bryant. I know he's made a couple of videos that I really enjoyed, so I'll reserve my opinions later, people.